The Federal Capital Territory Police Command has revealed that exposure to a corrosive substance allegedly killed a late 26-year-old National Youth Service Corp member, Terugua Stephanie. Commissioner of Police Sunday Babaji made this known while parading three suspects in connection with the murder. Babaji said it received information about the body of a middle-aged lady lying on the road on April 15. Recall that Stephanie, who was declared missing, left home with her one-year-and-five-month-old son on April 14 and never returned home. Her son was found the next day at Holy Trinity Catholic Church upon a call placed through to one of the paternal relatives. Discreet and painstaking investigation by tactical and intelligence access of the command attached to the homicide section of the State Criminal Investigation Department led to the arrest of three suspects, Babaji just said. The suspect we identify as a 26-year-old female, Jennifer Stembe, a male of about 35 years old, Solomon Abu, another 36-year-old, Monday Simon, who reside at Ojuta Maima area of the FCT. The suspect criminally conspired and murdered Terugua Stephanie to separate her from her boyfriend, Edward Achagu, and paved way for the female suspect and entrangled lover of Edward, Jennifer Stembe, to act him to herself. Speaking on the incident, Jennifer Stembe, who denied any involvement in the incident, told newsmen that the disease only came to her house to collect the phone the day she was found dead. She alleged that the male suspect told her that they wanted to kidnap the disease to demand ransom. But another suspect, who claimed to be a colleague of the female suspect, said that she invited him to help her scare the disease from her man. The suspect said her only rule was to open the gates for the late Stephanie when she came to Jennifer's house. He claimed that he met two other men who tied the disease before he departed from the premises, adding that he later heard of the murder of the deceased. Another male suspect confessed that he only tied the victim as instructed by the female suspect before leaving the house. He said that the female suspect called him up later in the night to come to her house, adding that he met the deceased in a terrible state, beat with acid. He added that Jennifer was crying and explaining that she didn't know why she killed the deceased. She held my hand and was begging me to help her dispose the body, after which she called someone who brought a car for her, he said. The police added that the suspect would be charged to court upon the conclusion of the investigation.